The asteroid 2005 HC4 achieves the closest distance to the Sun of any known asteroid. At its closest point to the Sun, so at its perihelion, it is about 10,500,000 kilometers away from the Sun, which is about five times closer than Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. And that is also 15 times closer to the Sun than the Earth is. Now, the Earth's orbit is pretty circular, so it is always around 150 million kilometers away from the Sun. But 2005 HC4's orbit is highly eccentric, elongated, and such an orbit causes it to be at its furthest point from the Sun, about 3.5 times further away from the Sun than the Earth. So this asteroid goes from 10,500,000 kilometers all the way to 535 million kilometers away from the Sun, which is even about two times further away from the Sun than Mars is at its own most distant point away from the Sun. This asteroid found in 2005 as the name indicates, is around 350 meters in diameter. So it is about as wide as a really tall building is tall. That is essentially a hill-sized rock going around the sun. When it is at its closest to the sun at about 10 million kilometers or so, that causes it to receive 200 times more sunlight than the Earth. So when it is around that distance, it also achieves a surface temperature very likely enough to melt the metal lead and zinc but also possibly enough to melt something like aluminium on Earth, which melts at 660 degrees Celsius. So for a brief period in time, it gets one of the hottest surface areas in the solar system. I say brief because it stays at a distance of 525 million kilometers away from the sun and further for 150 days, but only about five days to cover the same path at a distance of 22 million kilometers and closer. As it approaches the Sun, it gets faster and faster, ultimately achieving a velocity of 157 kilometers a second. That is about 157 times faster than a shot bullet. And as 2005 HC4 gets further away from the Sun, the opposite effect occurs. It starts slowing down drastically, which is the reason for why it stays 30 times longer around its aphelion points compared to around its perihelion point. The elongated orbit causes this. This all also means that for most of its own year, so during its complete 2.5 year long orbit, it actually is quite cold on its surface. And only for a few weeks it gets extremely hot when it gets close to the sun. 2020 BU-13 and 2017 TC-1 achieved the second and third closest distance to the sun of any known asteroid and their perihelion distances are actually very similar to the one that 2005 HC4 has. 2020 BU-13's perihelion is around 11 million kilometers, and 2017 TC1's perihelion is around 11 million and 500,000 kilometers. So all three of the closest perihelion asteroids have nearly the same perihelion, but their most distant points away from the Sun are a different story. As already mentioned, 2005 HC4's orbit goes way past the one that Mars has, but 2020 BU-13 and 2017 TC-1 both have orbits even more elongated than that one. Both are nearly reaching the orbital distance of Jupiter from the Sun, which is around 750 million kilometers. So they both get 15 times closer to the Sun than the Earth, then travel all the way to the orbital distance of Jupiter, which is five times further away from the Sun than the Earth. Now those were just the objects with the smallest perihelion, and all of their aphelions are way beyond Mars. So the average distance between their closest and most distant point from the Sun is between 270 to 375 million kilometers. But for 2021 PH27, it is 17 million kilometers. So it is a record holder in that average category. Its closest distance to the Sun is about 20 million kilometers, which is two times more distant than the perihelion of 2005 HC4. However, the most distant point of 2021 PH27 is about 100 million kilometers, four times closer to the Sun than the most distant point 
of 2005 HC4. So the average distance of 2021 PH27 between its most distant and closest point is 70 million kilometers. Now, all four of those objects don't have any known moons, but there is an asteroid called Mashup found in 1999 that has a moon. Mashup is a rocky asteroid with a ridge on its equator. It is around 1.3 kilometers in diameter. Its moon, called Squanit, is about 360 meters in diameter. And this tiny moon, Squanit, is orbiting Mashup at a distance of about 2.6 kilometers. Squanet needs 16 hours to complete an orbit around Mashup. So Squanet is traveling a distance of 16 kilometers around Mashup in 16 hours. Meaning that the average human walks at a speed that is about 5 times faster than the speed of Squanet going around Mashup. Now, the reason that Squanet is quite special is because it is the closest known moon to the Sun. In both the average between perihelion and aphelion, and just perihelion. Since it is traveling with Mashup, it achieves at its closest a distance from the Sun of 30 million kilometers, which is almost two times closer to the Sun than Mercury, and it is about five times closer than the distance of the Sun from Earth. It gets quite hot during the periods when it is that close, but as its orbit is highly elongated, it cools down significantly as it is approaching its most distant point from the Sun, which is almost exactly as far away from the Sun as the Earth. At certain points, the Earth and Mashup and Squanet get as close as only about 2 million kilometers away from each other. For comparison, the Moon is orbiting the Earth from a distance of about 400,000 kilometers. Now by far the closest known approach to the Sun was by a comet called C2007M5. This comet achieved a distance to the Sun of 150,000 kilometers. That is a thousand times closer to the Sun than the Earth is. And during those moments, it was receiving about a million times more sunlight than the Earth is currently. And also, comets by far out of any category have the closest known distances to the Sun. The closest artificial object to the Sun is by far the Parker Solar Probe a probe designed to study the Sun up close. As of 2021 November, its closest achieved distance to the Sun is 8.5 million kilometers, 18 times closer to the Sun than the Earth. Using Venus as a gravity assist, it will be able to accelerate even further, and in a few years it will achieve its closest expected distance to the Sun of 6 million kilometers. That is almost two times closer to the Sun than the asteroid 2005 HC4 is at its own closest point to the Sun. For comparison, the second closest distance achieved by an artificial object is by Helios 2 in 1976, which is a distance of 43 million kilometers away from the Sun, seven times more distant than the Parker Solar Probe. Also, Helios 2 is currently inactive, but is still in orbit around the Sun. The closest planet to the Sun is Mercury, but its distance from the Sun varies by a lot. That is because it has the most eccentric, elongated orbit of any planet in the solar system. At its closest to the Sun, it is about 46 million kilometers away from it, three times closer than the Earth. At its most distant point from the Sun, it is around 70 million kilometers away from it, two times closer than the Earth. Overall, Mercury receives about seven times more sunlight than the Earth. Now, despite the fact that at its closest point, it is about two times closer to the Sun than Venus, its surface temperature is lower. At its peak, its surface temperature at the equator during the day side is about 427 degrees Celsius, compared to the average surface temperature of Venus that is 464 Celsius. Venus, despite being more distant, simply retains more heat because of its immensely thick atmosphere. Venus also on its night side mostly retains its heat, so it stays extremely hot. Meanwhile, on the night side of Mercury, it gets as cold as minus 190 degrees Celsius. There is nothing to retain the heat. On top of that, there are polar regions on Mercury that have water ice. 
because craters at those poles are casting a permanent shadow, allowing for temperatures to consistently stay way below zero degrees Celsius, which in turn allows for water ice to exist there. So those were the closest known objects to the sun by different categories. For in the past, billions of years ago when the solar system was much younger, there were possibly planets and asteroids that were even closer to the sun than the current known records. However, they either merged with other things or were entirely ejected out of the solar system. 